टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑप्टिकल क्रॉस इन रेटिनोस्कोपी ऑप्टिकल क्रॉस इज ए क्रॉस यूज्ड ड्यूरिंग रेटिनोस्कोपी टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द पावर मेरिडियन वाइज टू स्ट्रेट लाइन इज यूज टू ड्रॉ द ऑप्टिकल क्रॉस एट 90 डिग्री अपार्ट फ्रॉम ईच अदर दिस टू लाइन रिप्रेजेंट टू प्रिंसिपल मेरिडियन ऑफ आईज मोस्ट पीपल हैव वर्टिकल 90 डिग्री और हॉरिजॉन्टल 180 डिग्री एज ए प्रिंसिपल मेरिडियन दस ऑप्टिकल क्रॉस टिपिकली लुक्स लाइक ए प्लस इफ प्रिंसिपल मेरिडियंस आर नॉट वर्टिकल 90 डिग्री और हॉरिजॉन्टल 180 डिग्री देन जनरली वी ड्रॉ एनदर पेयर ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन्स टू रिप्रेजेंट द प्रिंसिपल मेरिडियंस एंड देन इट लुक्स लाइक ए स्टार वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइन्स आर देन वर्क एज ए रेफरेंस मार्क नाउ लेट्स नो अबाउट एक्सिस एंड मेरिडियन एक्सिस एक्सिस इंडिकेट द पोजिशन ऑफ रेटिनोस्कोपिक स्ट्रिक और रेटिनोस्कोपिक रिफ्लेक्स मेरेडियन मेरेडियन इज हायर द पावर इज सिचुएटेड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सिस एंड मेरेडियन इज 90 डिग्री दैट मीन्स पावर प्रेजेंट 90 डिग्री अपार्ट फ्रॉम द एक्सिस यू माइट बी थिंकिंग हुआई पावर इज 90 डिग्री अपार्ट फ्रॉम द एक्सिस इन स्ट्रिक रेटिनोस्कोपी द रेटिनोस्कोपिक रिफ्लेक्स इज स्ट्रिक शेप ड्यू टू स्ट्रिक शेप इट्स इजियर टू चेक पावर इन वर्टिकल मेरेडियन वेन द स्ट्रिक इज होरिजोंटल एंड मूव्स अप्स एंड डाउन हेयर यू कैन सी वाइल वी आर एग्जामिनिंग द वर्टिकल मेरेडियन उथ रेटिनोस्कोपिक स्ट्रिक होरिजोंटल और 180 एटी डिग्री इट्स इजियर टू चेक द मूवमेंट बाय मूविंग द स्ट्रिक अप्स एंड डाउन Also it's easier to check power in horizontal meridian when streak is vertical and moves right and left Here you can see while we are examining the horizontal or 180 degree meridian with retinoscopic streak 90 degree or vertical it's easier to check the movement by moving the streak right and left That's why power always situated 90 degree apart from the axis In keratometry we don't use any strict light source like retinoscopy that's why keratometric power is directly written without any cross like k1 44 diopter at 90 degree k2 46 diopter at 180 degree means vertical meridian has 44 diopter and horizontal meridian has 46 diopter so cross means power situated in 90 degree apart from the given axis and at the rate means power situated in the given axis simply cross or x indicates the axis and at the rate indicates the meridian so minus 2 at 90 degree axis means when retinoscopic streak or 90 degree or vertical 180 degree or horizontal meridian is neutralized with minus 2 diopter trial lens and 44 diopter at the rate 90 degree means vertical or 90 degree meridian has 44 diopter power that is found in keratometry now let's take a prescription power and distribute it in optical cross in right eye the power is minus 2 minus 1 70 degree axis here two principal meridians are 70 degree and 160 degree Now you might be thinking how do I identify these two principal meridian As we already know meridian present 90 degree apart from the axis so one meridian will be prescription axis plus 90 or 70 plus 90 equal to 160 degree We also know that difference between two meridian is 90 degree so another meridian will be either 160 plus 90 equal to 250 degree or 160 minus 90 equal to 70 degree axis range of our eyes is 0 to 180 so 250 degree is not valid second meridian will be 70 degree so one meridian is 160 and another meridian is 70 now let's draw this meridian in optical cross form here is 90 degree here is 180 degree So 70 degree will be somewhere here and 160 degree will be somewhere here. Here minus 2 is spherical power. So it will be in both meridian. Here it's 70 degree also. 
here in 160 degree also and cylinder power is minus 170 degree axis so power will be here in 160 degree because power situated 90 degree from the axis so axis is 70 so power will be in 160 now in 70 degree we have minus 2 and in 160 degree we have minus 2 minus 1 total minus 3 diopter so minus 2 minus 1 70 degree axis means 70 degree meridian has minus 2 diopter and 160 degree meridian has minus 3 diopter now how to write spectacle power from optical cross if both meridians have same power in optical cross then there is no astigmatism or cylinder power it will be spherical refractive error if power in both meridian is different then astigmatism or cylinder power is there when cylinder power is there one meridian is spherical and another meridian is cylinder how to identify spherical power take any meridian as spherical meridian and write the power of that meridian as spherical power how to identify cylinder power difference between the power of cylinder meridian and spherical meridian will be cylinder power let's understand with an example suppose in 90 degree meridian or vertical meridian we have plus 4 and in 180 degree meridian or horizontal meridian we have plus 2.5 now to identify spherical meridian let's consider vertical or 90 degree is spherical meridian so our spherical power will be plus 4 and cylinder power is difference between cylinder meridian and spherical meridian so in cylinder meridian we have plus 2.5 and in spherical meridian we have plus 4 so cylinder power will be plus 2.5 minus plus 4 or cylinder power will be plus 2.5 minus 4 or cylinder power will be minus 1.5 diopter and the axis will be 90 degree apart from the meridian so our meridian was 180 degree so the axis will be 90 degree that is 90 degree apart from 180 degree question for you identify the spectacle power from the given optical cross in 90 degree or vertical meridian plus 5 diopter in 180 degree or horizontal meridian plus 1.5 diopter so what will be the spectacle power option a plus 5 minus 3.5 90 degree axis option b plus 1.5 minus 5 180 degree axis option c plus 5 minus 3.5 180 degree axis and option d plus 1.5 plus 5 90 degree axis type your answer in the comment box stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly